So a little something different for you guys. Uh, I appreciate everyone following along through this awful rehab training that's just bleh. Hopefully some travel coming up soon with the game stuff. Uh, recently while I was out in California at CSA doing the powerlifting meet and having a booth for uh, Hey Brand Goods, I got a chance to be part of a podcast. Uh, from time to time, I get invited to do stuff, and I really, really enjoy just talking shit and uh, doing it. I've been a fan of podcasts for a really long time and listened to quite a bunch since I drive a lot. Uh, this one was the No Pants Sci Pony Express, which could be the greatest podcast name of all time. And it's with Alex Lachance and with Katie Hogan. Both these girls are absolutely lovely and wonderful folks. Love getting to hang out and talk some trash with them. I am a bit of the old drink in me uh, during this podcast and uh, checked it out today and noticed that most of their podcasts go about 20 minutes. A really, really great length other than the one I'm on, which goes about an hour because I'm, I'm a piece of work. So enjoy this really, really long upload and uh, enjoy the podcast. Also, Check the link below and on iTunes, subscribe and listen to the podcast. Uh, Katie and Alex are going to be meeting more and more people. They've got contacts and some great guests, I'm sure, that are going to be on. I'm hopefully going to stop in and see those guys again. Anyway, thanks for watching. Enjoy the podcast. Give it a listen and uh, enjoy talking some shit. The top one. <laughs> okay, we need silence so. for the intro song. The arsonist was denied a bank. Shut up. <laughs> the human you right to take your denied a bank. She's a mean host. Oh, no, our, our, ho our guest is Instagramming right now. Really? This is I'm getting questions. Okay, okay. and quietness. No. Welcome to the No Pants Side Pony Experience. I'm Katie Hogan with my co-host, Alex, No Pants, Lola Chance. And we have a guest here with us now who will be guest hosting with us, <laughs> Matt Vincent. I'm guest hosting? Yeah. yeah. All Special right. treatment. We're going to need equal participation <laughs> from all three of us. We're going 33 and a third, each one We've of us. We've been repeating. eating the sushis for our, the last two hours. Yeah, I got the blow. Sitting around, talking, and uh, we wasted all the good content not wow, recorded. it can never be wasted. And now we're deciding to turn on the podcasts and see if Matt is drunk enough to give us some more fun stories. I'm not drunk enough, per se. There's no such thing, huh? Oh, never. So, hey, we covered, so Fast and Furious is another way. We don't have to cover that. We covered that that's the greatest well, it, it, it's not a quadruplegy, it's a... There's what eight! Would be, what would you... No, there's, uh, there's seven. I thought there were seven gonna be eight. Well, it's gonna be eight. Spoiler gonna alert, be ten. there's like, gonna be an eight like fast in the <laughs> what, how, What's... I don't know what the thing Bruce is. Bruce Willis is, is dead in all of them. <laughs> the whole time. It's true. So, we've covered that. Yeah. Um, maybe, since maybe not everyone... We covered mm -hmm. round and flat earth. Maybe Should not, we say who he is? I was going to say, maybe not a lot of listeners. We have a wide range of <laughs> listeners. Hello. For the experience, maybe they don't all know who I'm a Libra. Matt Vincent is. Yeah. Uh, Matt Vincent. Tell us um, about yourself. Words don't cover it. No, it's as true. Um, so I am a Highland Games athlete. So I'm one of the moderately fat dudes in kilts that throw telephone poles and rocks. And I'm okay at it. I uh, won world championships in 2014 and 2012, and other than that, I have a pretty good time with it. I also travel around a lot and perform lifts and do things. I, I don't know. I like having a good time. So you're a world champion of the world. And world champion of Earth. You, the Hollow Earth. Yeah, we'll of the Hollow Earth. We'll get into that more later. I think it's a district champ of Hollow Earth. Okay. It's weird. And a weird ranking system. You have a real life job. I do I have a nine to five? Yeah. I don't know anything about. Right. I didn't even Tell know us. about this. Yeah, real I'm life. I'm the only person in this room with a goddamn real life. job. Correct. <laughs> <Right. laughs> That's, That's right. amazing. Yeah, we so, fill the peanut gallery with yeah. others that don't have real jobs. Yeah, I have a nine to five job. I am an outside sales rep in the like petrochemical industry. So I sell a specialty service to um, refineries and plants and things like that. People that make gasoline, I help that. Fascinating. It is. <laughs> it is exciting. No, but you, we've talked about this for as long as I've known you. Yeah. You told me the coolest thing about that is you have the freedom to yeah. travel or take off. No, the job's great. 
because your sport is requires a lot of world traveling around the world. Yeah, I compete like 20 times a year. And so like this season coming up, for example, um, I'm going to be in Scotland for 15 days. And in those 15 days, I'll compete 11 times. Oh, wow. That's a pretty packed schedule. Yeah. So, yeah, you got to have a boss that's pretty cool with you taking off. Right. And I'm super, super lucky on that. Yeah. So, not going to change that situation anytime soon. Mm -hmm. Like the rest of us that were dying to get out of our <laughs> terrible desk jobs. Or no, whatever. I like it. I like what I do, though. I like I like being a sales guy. I like I like that part side of it. I get to travel, <laughs> and it's... I work out of my house most days. I kind of build my own schedule and I go see customers. And I couldn't be any less micromanaged. So, I mean, as long as I'm doing my job, no one seems to really want to tell me how to do my job. That's the best. So it's it's like the best case scenario of a real job. Yeah, plus so, yeah. the health insurance and all those types of things. Yeah. What's that like? <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly, it's good. I'm going to find out this week with knee surgery. Yeah, yeah. This is where we get to kind of tack you on to the, the talks that we've been having with no pants, like real talk hurt athlete, this is where we yeah. all get really pissed off because we're, our bodies are supposed to work all the time. Yeah. And yeah, what's going on? Uh, I got a knee that finally has given up. Um, it's been bad for a while. I tore an ACL in 2002, got it fixed, and then re-tore it at a skate park. 2008? Spectating? No, I <laughs> was, uh, let's do riding BMX at a skate park and uh, had come down a roller and like some like five-year-old kid on like a little bike and just aimlessly rolled out in front of me and so i threw the leg out to put the brakes on instead of there oh, just being like <laughs> no like instead of, yeah, okay. i, I would have I, I was coming down with some speed no. and heft and uh <laughs> there, there just would have been like a pink cloud in the oh middle of the skate park God. where i'd have gone through this kid so I decided to sacrifice the Your leg. You saved him. Yeah, well, I decided to, I didn't, I mean, if you'd asked me then if it was going to tear the ACL, I'd have just plowed the kid. But <laughs> yeah, fair. But I tried to bail, and uh, the knee popped. And so I tore my ACL again then. And then, uh, so I've just kind of run on it without an ACL since then. Wow, and then it's that's... recently become more of a problem. Yeah, exactly. You're saying it's like got way worse, or you need <coughs> some other. There's other pieces in playing now, yeah. not just the ACL. So it was new pain, and so finally got an MRI, and the MRI shows my right knee has uh, no ACL, which we knew. Um, partial torn PCL or partial torn MCL, uh, severe degeneration of the knee, cap, and joint, um, meniscus tear, floating bodies, and some bone spurs. How many times have you told that to people? Because you've memorized it. Yeah, I first saw it in a text message. It was really long, so <laughs> that's amazing. So what yeah. does your training look like with your gimp knee? Yeah. Uh, Normal? A, bo a box squat <laughs> instead of regular squat. Uh, I haven't done a lot of cleans. Doing, going to do a lot of bench coming up. <laughs> yeah, a lot of bench days. That's Looking to get over 315. It's gonna be nice. Nice. So that's looking on the bright side. Can you yeah. throw when your knees? Uh, I did. Healing? I did. Yeah, or more, I threw like last week. Okay. <laughs> How'd um, that go? Eh. Pain. I, so I, the thing is, like, like I could probably throw like all I wanted to right now at about ninety percent, but that's not worth a fuck. Yeah. Well, so if people don't realize, if they haven't looked too much in the hiding games, and especially the way you throw, there's yeah. lots of spinning around. Yeah, and violence. Twisting and explosive, uh, kind of like a jarring stop and then explode through. Um, I used to throw in college a little bit, so I realized all the torque that goes on in the knee. And if you don't have anything holding it in place, it's not going to go so well. So understandable that you're not going to be able to keep doing that much more. No, it doesn't make a lot of sense. It's time to get it fixed. Yeah. So hopefully this uh, quick scope and some clean out will uh, alleviate some of the issues and get me through the season and then we can uh, you know, blow the wheels off of it and fix it. Definitely. Yeah. We'll be hoping for that. That's what we'll see. If not, I'm just going to get a robot knee. Sweet. <laughs> because with my income and the way science is, you know, figuring stuff out, I think I could live to be 170, 180. Robot knees? Robo Psh. knee. No big deal. Yeah, because usually it's the knees that make people die early. <laughs> Quick, that's number one killer. That knee yeah. died of the <laughs> knee. Bad knee. It was a bad knee. Yeah, that knee sectomy. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, let's, let's get a quick segue over to um, what are you doing out here? 
Why are you in our house? Why are you I in am house? peddling my wares. Jesse, what is bringing here? hundreds of dollars of sushi to us? Yeah. Why is this man in our home? Uh, I'm out again anyway. for the uh, March Madness meet at CSA. Powerlifting! Woo! And I've been fortunate enough that uh, you guys allow me to show up and peddle my wares and moderately get in the way. That's what I come to do. Is and like one of the Sour Patch Kids. It's like, ah, oh, he's a little bit annoying, but ah, oh, he's a good guy. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much yeah. exactly what you are now. Right. That's not true at all, but you're basically, you're a vendor first, and in being a vendor, he's also a part sponsor for the meet. That's right. He's gonna be contributing some of the prize packs and um, all around in good cheer the, all day tomorrow. Okay. And then somehow you, shimmied your way into the deadlift only category at the end yeah. of the day. I weighed in at a svelte 270, uh, 274.6, <laughs> which is amazing because Trend. normally I've been sitting about a sweet 280 and I haven't looked at a scale in quite some time. So whatever I'm doing is well working. done. Well done. <laughs> yeah. Really leaning down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you're, you're hitting the deadlift only. Yeah. Um, category so you get a prize no matter what because yes. there's no one else doing that no I, there might be yes. one other person um, i'm gonna beat them you're uh, count your, count you're, your dollars you're there you're sitting next to one of our uh, also guaranteed winners tomorrow <laughs> miss no pants herself got uh, also swindled into got competing into doing the bench press which i don't I think know how to do keegan and jesse tricked her and somehow she ended up on the scale and now she's doing bench only so she's also Kind of competing against, well, should be competing against all the other girls who are benching. Myself. But competing against like yourself that. is most important. And um, competing against your past self. Yeah, so could you, you've done powerlifting meets before. I have, okay. I have done them. No pants. I've never even watched a powerlifting never meet. Never even, she didn't even knew, know these existed. Coming in a virgin, I like exactly. it. Exactly, so we're gonna pop her cherry tomorrow with the bench. Uh, yeah. Any advice for her? <laughs> nice. It's just like Olympic lifting? No, it's totally not. She's done those before. Yeah, Olympic um, lifting. It's just like. That. like your your attempts and all of that confusion that goes with Olympic lifting, super easier for this. Not as stressful. <laughs> super easier. Just get yeah. a couple beers in you and don't warm up. <laughs> Step one. <laughs> <laughs> Just make your way to the platform. <laughs> Give it a ride. Someone like directs you right. Pointer in. Yep. It's yeah, either fine. <laughs> the attempt was either meant to be or it's not meant to be. It's not up to me. Matt likes fate. to roll the dice and everything. Uh -oh. Yeah, no, it's, I think it's way different than Olympic lifting. So where yeah, it's totally. No Pants has a lot of experience. Um, how many meets have you done, Matt? I've done three raw meets and did four full geared. Okay, so lots of experience. Um, uh, what would be, let's see, you're doing deadlifts only because of the knee? Yeah, yeah right? other than that, yeah. Why wouldn't you do bench? Yeah, why not bench? Push okay, I'm super bad at bench. Oh. Um. <laughs> There's minor that part. detail. Minor detail. Don't I mean, listen not that, to that matters. Like I'm, with that said, yeah. I'm not very good at deadlift either. So. <laughs> Too late. We're I'm looking for the easiest way out to also still participate, but I guess just laying down up there would that, have been the route that would to have go. Been easier. Yeah. Just gonna lay down for a while up here. I think No Pants is doing it mainly because they tricked her. They told her they could have. She could have carbs if she, they. I if did she get entered. carbs in order to do. She's been up to hardcore no carbing it, and yeah, and now she just got to rice it up. I almost became single. I think. Yeah, I last think couple days. she's gonna be No Pants and a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> you could <laughs> definitely just be tomorrow's like number one bench attempter. I like that. Yes, that's right. I like that. What would that entail? Just old SPF days. Just, just back, 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 take it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what any just, of this means. We need just, to laugh right You just more. control the weight, like full geared shirt and everything. Just control it down to your belly and then just have everyone take it. Everyone else lifts <laughs> it for you. You just oh. say take it and then all the yeah. spotters, including the, your lifter offer, yeah. will likely save you from the own weight. The yeah. uh, weight you know it's going good because you have to have like a guy who's lifting off that also like deadlifts more than you bench. Because <laughs> you're planning on like, I'm going to need you to take all, just about all this. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll have Keegan. Yeah. Okay, it will be good. good Thanks, fun. babe. Yeah. So what are you gonna open with? I think I'm gonna open with six oh six. Right? It just sounds like a lot. That yeah. is just over double body weight. Excuse Real me. impressive. <laughs> <laughs> For a lot of people watching in powerlifting, that's that's not good. Not <laughs> <laughs> Because for our people, which we are assuming are um, mostly no, there's guys like Keith, there's like guys like Chris Dubbin that go four aside times from, body weight. Aside from my parents, who are we assuming are the listeners? <laughs> what is our demographic? My wife's not gonna listen. She, in Probably. fact, she's just gonna. Is this on YouTube? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. She's we'll gonna put, dislike it. We'll put it on YouTube. <laughs> Actually, she's the number Please one dislike. I have one dislike on every video I post, and it's I believe it's her. She wouldn't do that to me. <laughs> We're yeah, tired. but I'm involved. <laughs> this will be the one you get disliked. We so will I'm... overshadow you then. <laughs> yes. yes. It's like my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the show is about. I've been overshadowed it's about by us. prettier and better people than we me. We bring on oh. co-hosts to bring more attention to ourselves. So tell us other things that you're mildly good at. You must be mildly CrossFit. good at. CrossFit. Matt is one of the people that participated last year. In the CrossFit <laughs> yeah, Open. Cheer. I got kicked out <laughs> real did. quick, right during 15. You didn't one. think that that could happen for a everyone participates kind of sport? No, I, I was one of the. Story. I was one of the 12. One of the anaerobic. anaerobic? <laughs> we are the strong. <laughs> uh, last year, CrossFit made a slight mistake on how they were going to judge 15-1, and. Uh, I mean, right now we're going to get this shut down by Dave Castro if you say it was their mistake. <laughs> I mean, they did. They planned it. Um, the wording was just. Yeah. You did there that. was a gray area. Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, no, and the way it was set up is that so there were two, two separate scores. Workout. Yes. And with there being two separate scores, look, it really doesn't make anything worth a shit for the individual and the overall for any of that, like someone trying to get to the games. I mean, you're not going to get in there with just having a good clean that clean and jerk that week. And so, but it did, however, make a difference with team scoring because if you had a couple people in your gym that could do really good at the clean and jerk, that score helped, and I don't have to be someone Without that was going to go to regionals. very good on the first part. It didn't make any difference. Yeah. Because if you had three other people that were good at the first part. You guys, so did their you scores the for the first part? Part? I did a uh, toes to bar. You did a uh, toe, toe to bar. Yeah. Listen, because the way and I felt about it. rested for seven minutes. No, I just went over and started warming up and had my judge tell me no rep until the, the six minutes was up. As you were doing cleans, yeah. he was no repping those as toe to bar. Yeah. <laughs> those were improperly so these executed are, like, toe to bar. Whatever, man. <laughs> Just do your thing. You did do he, you. Did he really keep saying no rub? No. Okay, good. He, he knew what was going on. That's pretty funny. Yeah, um, so you got yelled at? Yeah, yeah. I got reprimanded and told my score didn't count. But the, did you like, get a letter? An email? Email, yeah. Dave Castro emailed me. He emailed you yeah. himself. And my question to him is why would he have time to email me about this? Because <laughs> I agree that my score shouldn't count. I just think you guys did a poor job of figuring out how to judge it. Because if you would just have Maybe taken total linked. reps plus yeah. weight, like link them, yeah. like if everyone, LinkedIn. <laughs> like your your it's scores were connected or something, they both so, have to count. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's, like that's you have to take the top person in your gym that had the both both right. combined Metcon and or, or just yeah yeah. So I mean, you just would have added total reps plus the weight on the bar for one number. Right. Yeah, that's what that's I mean. Yeah, it was a combined. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. they didn't do that. No. Well, maybe so next instead year. they just kicked out you and 11 other people. Me and 11 others. The thing is with, what's weird, right, is the first part of the workout. Apparently there's, that was the argument that Dave and I had first, a couple of emails. And it wasn't an argument as much as... Oh, you responded back to him? Yeah. Hey, I, I told him... Believe I'm a bad host. I don't well, like, I told is. him that I, I agree that these scores shouldn't count. However, the rules of the game state this. <laughs> and since it states but that... Did you read the rule that says Dave can do whatever he wants? I read the rule that they asked Dave, Dave the on man. TV and said, what if someone sandbags the first part? And he said, that's fine. Yeah. And it is fine. <laughs> he, he said that. He didn't kill you. He just kicked you out of the game. <laughs> right. and, and he so, didn't say what fine meant. He said, it's fine. Go ahead. Ahead. My, my problem is, is then throwing the definition of what is sandbag. Yeah. Because yeah. I felt that if I did 30 reps, which is, would have been one round, which would have taken a minute mm -hmm. of that workout, and then quit. And that's just as much sandbag. Sandbagging is not giving my full effort. Right. So why posture just fucking do it? Well, if that's the definition, I mean, <laughs> we have people that do their first attempt that kind of like a you know, so, walk through pace. You mean like a first run at the open or whatever? Right. Wait, wait, see, I don't understand that either. And that's something I've, I've talked to people at the I don't uh, do that. gym I frequent. Yeah. As like, they end up doing it five times. I'm like, why don't you do it like halfway? Yeah. And oh, just okay. figure out your strategy, yeah. so you so yeah. you have an idea of like this is what transition is going to be. I know where this is going to bite me. I sure. know where this is going to go, and then get your shit together. Sure. And go. Right. And and go once and give it really hard because that once you get sense. to regionals, you don't get to do this three times. Right. But the difference is you're racing against your competitors. There's people in your gym. No. Not, no. Not your competitors. Mm. <laughs> Very few gyms are competing against the people in their own gym. If you're talking. About like on the a like team level or an individual, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Like very few gyms. That's a rare thing 
to have, I mean, right? We were always talking about how we wish we had that. Right, we don't have people to really yeah. compete against. Yeah, it's, it's a rare thing in any gym, but um, you can create that energy. What about if we start building holograms? That would work. I would love that. I'd probably do better in the yeah. gym. We'll just put on VR goggles. So that's easier than like having Tupac <laughs> dancing in front of you. We're not at Coachella. <laughs> can you put on a Skype? Sort of. <laughs> yeah. So have like nine computers. Oh, yeah. So yeah, I think if they do it the same way Disney did the Haunted Mansion thing. That worked well. It still works still well. working great. It's enchanting. <laughs> it's enchanting. Yeah, so hmm? I think the one the one time go all out can work. I just know that for me, I've always done everything uh, in the open two times. Well, I mean, but, but everyone does, I don't right? know that because I've ever... I have ever done it I don't three think that times. Everyone does. No, no, God no. No way. I, and I think the people that don't, I'm jealous of that. But I also don't sandbag my first one. It's usually that I need a separate, uh, I need a, like a reworking You need a number to fight and, your... Or a number to fight, and I mean, a lot of times I can beat the score. Or come really freaking close. So sure. it's kind of like, okay, well... It you're was... just smarter with your rest, you're smarter with yeah, your sets. Yeah, yeah. Little... But I like to go maybe half of it, or go at parts yeah, of it. Like I recommend come, that to my the strategy, the right? Yeah, I don't recommend the, you have to do it twice. Well, I don't think walking through it gives gives no, the right strategy. It doesn't walking, at all. Yeah, it's walking not through it doesn't give you that feeling of like, oh, this is where I'm gonna run out. Exactly. Yeah. It's not yeah. I don't I don't think that works. But I don't look I'm not into fitness. <laughs> so yeah, well, you have made here. that clear with your one toe to bar heard round the world. Toe to bars. <laughs> mm. Whatever. Alright. No one kicked me out of the Highland Games for doing toes to bar. I'll tell you that. What's your favorite thing to throw? I like throwing stones. Yeah. Enough shot putter at heart that that one still is the one I like. Me too. That was my favorite. That one's fun. Uh, I'm probably the weights for distance are probably the one I'm, I'm best at for me. And that's a lot of spinning. Yeah, they're fun. They go far. Um, those are good. Those are good. Whatever bars. Yeah. Who cares? How Still. often do you throw? The week, the um. Week? So, like, training for me, like, once season starts up, like, say, right now, if, let's say, I'm not hurt, uh, my first game would be in a month, I'd probably be throwing, like, twice a week right now. And then lifting? Three the times. Three times. So, I'd, like, shut down lifting every week on Thursday, and then travel Friday, compete Saturday. Uh, home Sunday or home Monday, and then repeat. Okay. Yeah. Um, now, the further it gets into the season, the workouts will be three days a week, but they may end up only being, like, a main lift. But then I'll go throw three, maybe four days a week. Okay. So I'll throw up until Thursday. Now Thursday's practice may just be go out and take like five throws per event. And that's trying to build that confidence that like I can hit a big throw in five throws. Mm -hmm. I don't have 15 to do it. Right. Yeah. You know, because in a competition I only have three. And so like having that confidence to know that I can come out of the gate and get it done and move on. Mm -hmm. you, you've just got to be able to do it because have all day to sit there and try to figure it and find it. How tiring is each event? Like if you throw a stone, how hard is that? Is that being tired? Do you sweat? Do you breathe heavy? I mean if it's hot outside. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I'm sweating now and breathing heavy. <laughs> I'm, I'm in a living room. We are like it's four a, for four on snorts and podcast. It's a I'm a fucking professional athlete. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you were a thrower in college. Allegedly. Allegedly. But would you say that that's the main demographic when it comes to Highland Games competitors? Previous throwers? Like, who gets into the sport? Like, is it people that just enjoy yeah, wearing so kilts? Like, what is this about? There's that. You've got the, the Rin Fairies. Fairies. You're pretty sure. weird. That's also true. Yeah, so, but you get the Rin Fairies. You get a lot of weirdos. Um, very liberating. But as far as the, like, the professional crowd, I would say of, like, the top ten of us, like, five of us were collegiate throwers. Okay. So everyone was an athlete. Like it's of something, something. Yeah. but it's not like oh well that always looked cool to me but I wasn't a thrower so I'm not gonna try it you get that in the amateur crowd yeah the am crowd gets a gets a mix of Ren fairies and guys that want to go be it Ren fairies yeah Ren fairies renaissance fairies and guys that want to go to Scottish <laughs> games and do this and like maybe paint their face blue and do the Braveheart thing they think they're Braveheart yeah man whatever blows your hair back like, go have a good time that's yeah. good and they just basically are throwing things drunk and it's probably going the wrong way oh yeah no you know and I think most of those guys honestly take it a bit more serious than we do like our training's far more serious yeah but in the actual competition I think I think the pro class does a pretty good job of being in on the joke of how 
fucking cool it is that we get to travel around the world and compete and make some bucks and we throw rocks in the field. It's pretty laid back. No, oh, it's get super just on the field. Yeah. It's so different from any other sport. No, I've we're seen we're basically there. booing each other and making. <laughs> Like that's you guys pretty are normal. Fun. Like yeah. It looks super fun. Oh yeah, yeah. Total, total good time. That's, I mean, that's why I stuck with this over powerlifting, and why I stuck with it over strongman. Like, strongman to me was was really rough. I really enjoyed training strongman and hated competing. In it. You still train it a little bit, right? Yeah, I still do a little stuff. I like log. I like stuff like that. Uh, one of the games I do in Scotland has uh, like three or four strongman events. Oh, I do that's a max fun. log. I did a, I did a three. 40 log last year. That That's was fun. Insane. Like in grass, <laughs> in the rain. Jeez. Uh, so what, what What made Strongman not fun to compete then? Standing around some hot ass parking lot listening to shitty music while a bunch of dudes mean mug each other like it's serious. Yeah. It's way better. We're in a GNC parking yeah. lot, guys. Let's <laughs> fucking take it down a pig. Yeah. <laughs> no one's they gonna are, die today. They're not having the fun. No, the no it's fun. awful. They're not in on the joke. Exactly. Let's they think a lot more of their sport. Like CrossFit. No, we're, we're not hardcore. CrossFit take it so seriously. Yeah. Yeah. We're not hardcore. We're not <laughs> heroes. Let's just be real clear that we're performing fake work. Yeah. Because our lives are so soft that we have a lot of spare time and nothing that challenges us. It's a good way of putting it. We're performing fake work so our muscles don't atrophy. That's, That's it. Because I don't have to worry about feeding about. myself. I don't have to worry about shelter or any yeah. of these other things in my day to day. Yep. We create work. We create, we create suffering. Yeah. Yes, For the we fun do. of it. Call in now. <laughs> any <laughs> any questions from the listeners? <laughs> We have we have a live studio audience today. We do. Do you guys have any questions for us? Yes, I have a question for Matt Vincent. <laughs> okay, question for Matt. Crew Vincent. Jones or Bart Taylor? Oh, either oh, Crew Jones. Wait, do, can they hear that? Yes. Yeah. Should you repeat the question? Repeat the question. Repeat crew the question. Jones or Bart Taylor? But I don't know what that means. I went with Crew Jones, and I feel like we're talking about Meme Machine, Jones. right? Rad. Rad? Oh, we are talking about Rad. Nineteen eighties <laughs> BMX film with a guy backflips. This is not a part of our normal podcast. We don't understand this. <laughs> you should check the IGs. Jackie had a good question. Yeah? Oh, yeah. IGs. Jackie 585. Uh, Jackie? God, there's so many questions. We had a lot of good ones, too. Mm-hmm. I figured it was late and we wouldn't get any. Jeebus. <laughs> oh. Are these real questions? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, moderately fat question mark? Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. My question about the sashimi was real, though. Uh, that was real. Gin or vodka? Uh, vodka. 100%. Is that gin or vodka. Whose question was that? I don't know. P. Tarleton is a stupid name. Oh. Where's the Jackie question? I will get to it. You gotta go in order. Okay. After you skip them. Hollow vs. Flat Earth. <laughs> discuss. <laughs> That's from Jesse, our producer. So our producer is going to bring up an important point, which is I learned about a whole nother culture. What are they? Are they like a, a cult? No, they're just a sect. believers. A sect? What I would like to call is, sect you know, people? realist. Realist. There's other ways to think of things in life. There's perspectives. There's things like well, there's facts. everyone sees there's things real in a different way. Not real yeah, right. Some people see the earth and they think, well, it's, that's not hollow. It's brown. Or, it's yeah. Filled that's with magma. Filled with, yeah. Molten yeah. Hot liquid stuff. Magma. With rocks. And there's like a core and layers. And, yeah, that, it just wraps, wraps it all up in a tight little globe. Boring. Then there's others, believers, Hollowers. that believe in a thing called Hollow Earth. And Matt Hollowers. explained this to me well, the last meet we yeah, had. It's pretty simple. Let me give you a quick rundown. First, First hollow. Minimize sense. minimize this window and start Googling all over it. Hollow right Earth, now. treat yourself to that. Earth is hollow, and inside of that Earth, inside of this shell, there's another Earth, and, a, Earth. and another Sun, and there's dinosaurs, Inner and a dragon. Duh, right. What's the name of the dragon? Drago, I think. Yeah, Drago, you know what I mean? You know, I think it's. Uh, the UFOs, from, from so Drago's the ruler. <laughs> 
he feeds off of the negative energy of us but in does outer. He communicate with that makes so the much more sense world. than just rocks and science. I don't think he can communicate <laughs> with us. He just feeds on our vibes. So when you're having a bad day, we should get that guy on podcast. Eating Drago <laughs> is. We should. Yeah, but is there? What's the negative consequences to him getting a bunch of negative Nothing. energy? Nothing. I think <laughs> he just. Yeah. It's fine. Because I watched. I mean, do you think like maybe I watched, like a volcano might erupt? I watched a pickup artist on uh, VH1, and they had this guy, Mystery was his name. He's really awesome. He had this cool top hat, and he would teach dudes how to pick up chicks, and he would tell them that you had to neg them. Neg? Yeah, he used negative reinforcement. Oh, I've heard yeah. that all the time in movies. It's like the dentist system. Keegan, it doesn't work. Yes, <laughs> yes it is like the dentist system. <laughs> oh, God, I love Always Sunny. <laughs> Very good. Um, you have to neg them. And so of a UFO just going in going in into inner earth. No, it like is intentional. It's not like it's it on it's it's purpose. Oh. Yeah, absolutely. Because what's it gonna do in outer earth? Well that's kinda it there's look, I think the Scientology kinda goes a little bit with that too, with the Galactic Confederation and Xenu and the other, you know, coming down and landing with the spaceships and putting us out here, but they part the spaceships next to volcanoes and then treat the volcanoes to explode to cover up the spaceships. Genius. Simple. Yeah, that's why everyone's like, well, yeah, if UFOs exist, where are they? In Earth. Well, wait, what? Right. No, that's, it, yeah. It's quite simple. Yeah. So, search on that. And if we have any inner Earthians. Call you know, in. Or <laughs> hollow Earthians, I should say. The inner Earthians couldn't probably call in. I right. And I mean, look, I'm not a guy that believes in hollow Earth. I think that's, that's a nuts thing, right? With a dragon. But Earth being flat, home run. That makes a lot more sense. I mean, you spin pizza dough fast enough, what happens to it? Goes flat. Turns into a beautiful pizza pie. Makes pizza sense Earth. to me. And if pizza Earth is spinning Earth. at the pace that we, we say it is, it's going to go flat eventually. And you think it's there now or it's on its way? No, we're definitely full flat right now. Full flat. Full flat. And, and we're going to go back to round once things slow like down. Shaped like a pizza. Do we spin the other way? No. So that we like fatten up again? So, cause well, I think the, a lot the of bottom people... of the earth spins the other way. That's why the toilets go the other direction. So, okay, but see, that's not the way that flat earth exists. It's a like flat piece of pizza and all the continents are on top. So what's underneath it? Turtle that carries earth around. Got it. All right. <laughs> I'm learning a lot today. Because when you fly to other places, you can get there without going over the edge because you're on a pizza dough. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah it makes sense. Same with the sun works. As long as we're on the same page. There's an ice wall that blocks everything, but it's it's alleged it could be infinitely high and long. So I mean, maybe there is no edge. Maybe the edge is just in your heart. If you know, please call in. I mean, I know that there's a lot of governments going on, like in Antarctica, that if you try to get to the South Pole, they'll shut you down. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me what that's about. They know it. They know it. Because it's not there. I want to know who's who's profiting off of all the round earth propaganda that's been pushed at us. Because <laughs> that's you gotta the follow the money. Companies are profiting. <laughs> the globe trotters. <laughs> <laughs> the globe conglomerates that are forcing us to put a globe in every classroom. Because they're always like, look at these basketballs, globe trotters. Yeah, exactly. Oh man, I wish I knew more globe trotters names. <laughs> You're blaming. They, the 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 <laughs> <laughs> they had I the one that was. They had the one that was on all of the. They're just capitalizing on a trend. That's mm -hmm. what they're doing. You can't blame them. Oh, they're definitely. Doesn't this go back to Newton? They're a sleeper cell. That's a fact. Newton? <laughs> <laughs> I've watched a lot of Homeland. And Claire Danes cries really ugly. <laughs> and other than that, that one. she she is not a good crier. <laughs> She's an excellent actress, but she still cries super gross like Romeo and Juliet. Loved her in Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, it's excellent. It's a great film. <laughs> Probably the only thing I can remember her in. Yeah, just, what? I don't know. You got my so-called life? Her in Leet? Yeah, it's alright. What? I mean, it's more of a Saved by the Bell girl. <laughs> but it was all your angst. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have a ton of angst. Right. Do you have a lot of angst? Not Maybe really. No. Things went pretty sweet for me, yeah. to be honest with you. We're super angsty kids. Basically, you said. all the time. Yeah. No since time being born in 1983, <laughs> two pretty cool parents in white in America. Things yeah. have been pretty sweet since that day. We're making up our own work. <laughs> been real mellow. <laughs> Can you imagine how much worse it would be that if you were born and it was like 1710? It's awful. Yeah, that would be stressors for you. No. We'd have actual work to do. Right. Yeah. Like, 
Your dad could spend his entire time trying to turn lead into gold. <laughs> Great work, Pop. <laughs> How'd it go today? Fucking alchemy. Weird. Doesn't make any sense. Isaac Newton died of mercury poisoning, and everyone yeah. acts like that guy was really smart. Yeah. <laughs> but they, did, that, they didn't know about it then. Yeah. Well, yeah, we found out. Yep. Could, have been, was could have been the knee. Could have been the knee. If he had, that's why I got this one bad knee. The first was round. Wait, did you want to think about it? <laughs> no, no, it's I think the bourbon is kicking in. It should be. And. Do you have any more questions for us, guest hosts? We got more questions. Do you have other things to ask us um, <laughs> on our show? <laughs> we know for, as much as we need to know about What do you want to know about us? <laughs> uh, is CrossFit indeed bisexual? Because <laughs> ladies and men get to compete. Lot. I feel like it's a more scissoring style sport. <laughs> this, this is one of those <laughs> sports where both men and women compete. And there's a term for that. Bisexual. <laughs> Nailed it. And some people know what that term is, and some people don't, and that's okay. Co-ed's a porn thing. <laughs> Allegedly. I think this podcast has one too many inside jokes, and no one's going to listen. Well, get some better friends. Oh. This really isn't for Don't you. Don't listen to him. Us. Followers. <laughs> Followers. Mom and dad. <laughs> Mom and dad and one other person. Here's the question. Will I work you know out in Katie Hogan shorts? Will I? Will, Will you? you? Yeah, that's a bad move, guys. Do you want to? <laughs> Let me go ahead and break something down for you. I'm a 280-pound man. Been 280 pounds for a long time. Or 274, 6, I guess, technically. <laughs> Basically, any skin of mine from the knee up has touched other skin. <laughs> On your own body? Yeah, yeah, at all times for two decades. <laughs> it's just basically a permachafe. <laughs> there was As no we'd like to call it the dark shirts. meat. <laughs> There's no room for that in your shorts. Well, it's no good. Well, the answer to that is no. Jackie said, Jackie585 hurt said, I heard no pants likes butt stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we have the worst friends ever. Worst friends. That's not even a question. That's a statement. <laughs> Jackie, please, in the form of a question. <laughs> you, should, you should elaborate on that. No pants. Can you elaborate? The butt stuff. Well, yeah, she's Catholic. The butt. She's trying not to get pregnant. Whoa. Step one. Whoa. I think she's talking about training. Well, mom and dad. Um, <laughs> ah. So my back is hurt. Sorry. So we do a lot of glute stuff in training. So it's always a lot of butt stuff going butt on. Butt stuff. That makes more sense. But training the butt as opposed to other things. Anything like else. <laughs> <laughs> no gestures <laughs> as opposed to anything else. Fitness. <coughs> butt fitness. Butt fitness. I always wanted to do that. Like uh, what was it, like an off season. I had planned accessories. But instead of like doing three days of biceps, I just wanted to do like three days of butt like, stuff. Uh, yeah, basically butt stuff or like posterior chain. Yeah. I just wanted to be like instead of those like the figure guys uh, that have like, like, no legs. legs. Yeah, like no legs oh, and just yeah. sweet pipes. Mm -hmm. I would just be overdeveloped be posterior <laughs> chain. And no one. Like have like really tiny arms with just this sweet rock down. Yeah. Sweet hamstrings and ass. Oh my god. Does that be awesome. exist? It should. Have you I found could be pictures that. of that? God, it'd be awesome. I had like 17 inch arms with like a 40, 48 inch waist. It's going like Fat Dan. I <laughs> like Fat Dan. He's shaped, he's shaped like Grimace. Oh my god. That's a good look. <laughs> We're way too nice. For Storm Cloud. Kind of like I know. Look him up. We're, We're too innocent. You should. Go on, go on to his Instagram. Make fun of that awful thing he's calling a beard. It's so bad. It's all teched out. He's probably a guy that would dye his beard. It's the worst. Dye your beard? Yeah. If you can look at the picture and not be embarrassed by it, then that's your thing. Are we gonna look on Instagram on our podcast? Yeah, it yeah. Like it's it's Joe Rogan's got people that a run computers. Okay. Whoa, yeah, that's pretty bad. It's awful. All right. Look how awful well, that beard is. Uh, Tell our listeners what to go to. Uh, you can go to I Hate Matt Vincent on Instagram and follow me because you have to. 
and then uh, look hate, up but a how picture. how do you spell? Hate. Yeah, I spelled it. Mm, hate. It's like the one on my hat for those of you watching, those of you just listening. H V I I I. So it's and an H. For those of you that say that's not movie. how you spell hate, exactly. Matt's being clever. Well, that's just a matter of your opinion. But why? Thank why you. the hate? Why the hate? All right. So the hate started a couple years ago. Uh, my brother and I had talked about it, like watching athletes and different stuff like that, and just there was always guys that were more, you know, had that willingness to work harder than other people. And that, that ability to just outwork and do those things, it's like, man, that fucking guy just hates himself more than I do. And you see those people. And it was, you know, trying to be more that way, be that thing. And so, I mean, look, I can't do anything about being taller or having better levers or any of these other things, genetics or, but what I can be in control of is whether or not I'll be outworked. And so, that's a choice and talent doesn't have anything to do with it it's just effort and so you know be willing to do the right things all the time and do the work and force yourself through it you know in days that you're tired from your job so what go do your job you think go go work now go go in the gym get your get the work done yeah these are goals that you set out for yourself you don't need to be held accountable by someone else do it because this is something you want period that's that's kind of where it all comes from. It's a little bit of a self motivation through self loathing. Nice. Like a healthy amount. Yeah. Like look, and the truth I is, we've it. all got it. Yeah. Like uh, you haven't not had carbs in the last while because you're super stoked and want to play, <laughs> play Xbox every night. Like so, things are good. <laughs> now I'm just gonna have some snack cakes. No, it's because you want to improve. You want to be better. Right. Right. And whatever that means, and if that means sacrifice this one bit of pleasure for down the road hitting a bigger goal that's what you want mm -hmm. that's that's kind of just yeah cool. absolutely i think that those kind of people gravitate towards each other and that's why a lot of us i think get along as friends as training partners yeah, if you, misery loves company if you know what that's like you got to go find people that are like that and you got to go find matt's clothing line yeah and he, a hat he brand goods and a shirt and i mean <laughs> or a tank top what? I even have lady stuff. Top. Check it out. I'm wearing one too. What? Look at this. This yeah, is old so school. Much this is like one of the original. Yeah, that's one of the OGs. Yeah. Plug, 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 plug. And the clothing. Yeah. So you can but, go to the hate.com. That's right. And then you can confuse everyone with what the letters mean. They'll figure it out. Once they do, they feel like they're or in they the Or they won't. Then they're Perfect. not in the club. They won't ask. Or you can get a hate be. brand tattoo and send me a picture of it and I'll give you a discount code forever. For life. For life. For life. For your life. It'll be DF. L, down for life. I had to slow that one down a little bit. I don't do acronyms. <laughs> Run the numbers on those old acronyms. Well, this has been educational. Hmm. Semi-entertaining and <laughs> special. Definitely special. Would you, let's do a quick one. Would you rather... Oh, well, oh no. Would you rather have a dick for a nose or penis fingers? Oh my god! I think I've heard this one before though. Yeah, it's still a good question. I mean, you'd always have to have like a boner to get stuff done. Would right? you? I mean, you can't just get stuff done with anyway. like nose. You just want to be a guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> the fingers probably. You need to dig fingers. No hands. You need to We're covered on both the counts. <laughs> I just have to always have a boner. We'll, be, well then you can't we'll do anything more right like this all the time. <laughs> You can control it, right? You'd need a sweet chub. <laughs> like a two-day Cialis I feeling. would fine-tune my skills, because I'm an athlete. <laughs> just mentally, just <laughs> it's like a no-handsy jack with your hands? That's amazing. I would be good at whatever Double I snort. To we got another that. snort out of her. That's impressive. I don't know if we've had a two-snort podcast. Well, we haven't talked about penis fingers, either. Peak. <laughs> Finger peaks. <laughs> I got asked a weird, uh, would you rather the other day via Snapchat, one of my snaps. I'm still learning how to Snapchat. It's, it's easy. It's difficult. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's for that. Uh, okay, what was your would you rather? It was, would I rather, like, have to pick up all the poo at a zoo, like, barehanded? Zoo poo, okay. Zoo poo. Or would I rather inseminate, like, a pig? <laughs> Oh my gosh! Pick you know, like a uh, like you pick up the poo. No, they use you know, oh, with they your hands. What? Like, no. Well, not, not, like, <laughs> not <with> my gear. <laughs> uh, and like, like how big I, of a zoo? 
How many square know. feet? Do they have small ones? Yeah, for sure. All right. Like a petting zoo? We're gonna call it 10,000 square feet. I feel like it's a small zoo. <laughs> <laughs> like a petting zoo. I think we'll pick. Um, what was your answer? I'd do the insemination thing, because I inseminated oh, a horse one time. Did you, oh With, my God, you have, yeah, you had to put on the crazy long gloves and reach inside of them. I've seen it on Jackass. <laughs> yeah, I've done that. Okay. You've done it. So <laughs> he didn't even bat an eye at that one. Yep. I was like, I've already done that one. That wasn't bad. It's warm. <laughs> you know? <laughs> well, I tried to end it earlier, but then we had gold like that, so maybe I'll let you do the sign off when you're ready. Mm. Do you have any ones? favorite idioms? Oh my god. So like uh it's, like colder than a cast iron yeah, cone. It's gotta be like that. Oh my gosh, don't Free. put me on the spot. Look away and I might think of something. One of my all time favorites is uh darker than three foot up a cow's ass. <laughs> Tell us why. That's just funny. Yeah. I mean, it would be dark in there, there's not a lot of light source. That's very true. <laughs> yeah. Not a lot of help. <laughs> this is a great idiom. Mm. I don't have any. <laughs> you, you got nothing. I got nothing. They have one in Iceland. Um, I don't know the Icelandic term for it, but it is, uh, you fucked a fat horse today. Do we have sensor? Nope. Well, this is full, full on R. Good <laughs> thing. <laughs> Otherwise, get that beep button ready. We got another snort. Snort counts up. The snort just censors it's you. It's like her uncomfortable <laughs> snort. snort. That was the uncomfortable. Every time I curse, it just snorts. And a little Alex face pops up over my mouth. This could be the, I wish I was better at video editing. <laughs> that would be awesome. Um, you could do that for us. I don't have the skills. Someone should. Yeah, if you want me to <laughs> jump cut a bunch of stuff and not sync it to music, I'm pretty good at it. Uh, that's another, another good idiom. Nothing like dead air. <laughs> dead air. You can't be scared of dead air. You just gotta ride with it. Yeah. It's like doing acid. You don't want to fight it. You just let it take you where the waves are gonna go. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so scared right now. Just, oh, I'm killing. That was strong. That oh, it's was, so much fun. That was strong to quite late. Strong. It's getting more powerful. <laughs> Soon she's gonna be all snorts. I won't even have words anymore. Oh no. She just communicates and knocks and whistles. <laughs> Hold it as bad, hold it in. Uh, <laughs> Multiple snorts. Try to be professional over awesome. here. That's the key to this. I would say the key to podcasting is <laughs> say professionalism. Absolute professionalism. Well, we have a mountain of old sushi in front of us now. <laughs> okay, we fancy like that. And wasabi. Yeah, that's true. Yes. You want to just take bites of it? Yep. I mean, this is like a. What you do? It's like a bar. Of no, no, no. Like as as a team, like we'll all take bites. Of it. Nope. Ride um, or die. Okay, instead of. Smelling I don't have salt. enough fiber in the dead. Instead of smelling thing. salts before your dead lift tomorrow. Wasabi? Wasabi. Yeah. Oh. Wasabi salts. Let's go start some wasabi. I don't have any. Do we have any of them little snack packs? I can have a moment more. Of course. Jesse like keeps them by his bed. <laughs> what are we talking we about? We should what put one that? on your pillow next time you stay uh, over. Like a little. Oh, I'd be so happy. <laughs> what is it? Man, I had a guy that trains with smelling salts. Yeah, smelling salts. You snap it. Super strong. Like, yeah. They're the best. Yeah. They'll hit you with it before you bench. Yeah. It like opens everything up and makes makes this real life. It basically what it does. The basically what it does. Jesse like sticks two of them up his nostrils and like, and then like anything that you like anything you were thinking of say prior to that. Like if you're getting ready to lift and like like a max lift, right? You can basically hit those and they'll just get rid of any of those other things that were in your head. Like all you're thinking about is being awake. You're back to tabula rasa, clean slate. Oh my god. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. They're really good. I had a, a guy that trained with me, Mock, uh, trained with me for a while, and he was hitting like, he's burning through like 200 of them a week. I mean, I think really wasn't training that often. Kill he would like, yourself to oh, it. big time. I think they like kill brain cells. Yeah. yeah Mark sure. didn't have a lot to give away. There's definitely a point when like the ones that he had, those were going to stay. He wasn't going to be able to kill those brain cells. He's going to forget how to breathe or anything. He's playing surviving. He was playing like a Hunger Games in his head. <laughs> Brain cells. <laughs> it's true. They only. He's only gonna keep a few of them. They're already going to die anyway. Yeah. All right. So I think he was deprived so of know. oxygen okay. as a kid for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of scared now. He may have farted. Is it gonna smell around. bad? It's. Oh, does it smell like ammonia? Super strong. Okay. Like a bunch of pee. 
Yes, I. Yeah, that's weird. Snow dress. <laughs> weird. Piss play. Welcome to powerlifting. Never. Yeah. All right. I like it. So. Take it away, Kitty. On yeah. that note. Good night. <laughs> I'd like to thank our sponsors. We'd like to thank our sponsors, Kiko Man Soy Sauce. Nice, I like that. I don't for, know for the you know where you guys actually went. No, it's Yamasa. Yamasa. I went to uh, Imyoi. It's not Kikoma. Yamasa. It's right up the road. Which one? E, e M. I think it's Emu. Is it? Oh, yeah, it is yeah. Emu. Okay, Emu nice. Sushi. Wait, we ate Emu today? I've lived here for five years and I don't know. <laughs> never I heard wish, it. dude. I'd ride one of those cool things car. around like I was playing Joust. I think he just went to some Japanese lady's house and she made all this food for well, the did. hungry white man. <laughs> he was so good. Here, take my choice. It was Tiff. 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 Yeah. Tiny Tiff. Thank you. That's how she can place. Hey, let's have Tiny Tiff on the show. Goes That's how she can place all those little tiny eggs on there. Just use the whole hand. She uses her each one's she's a handful, you just place it. Oh, no, she's a tiny tip is about tip. this big. We're gonna she have is. her on the show one day. She's three foot three. It's She'll amazing. Sit we'll have her stand table. on the chairs or sit yeah. on the chair. <laughs> and table. she out deadlifts me. So I've got that going. Her range of motion is short. Yeah, she knew. What did she do? Well, here, I got a question for the two of you. Oh, We're back in. <laughs> he pulls his back in. Deadlift, sumo or conventional? I pull conventional. Of course you do. Me too. I just don't have. I've what had do you do? One day of experience. Well, conventional because I respect myself. <gasps> Got him. <laughs> that and my hips barely work. <laughs> yeah, we can't all do the splits. No, no. Oh, well, we should it. be able to. That was a good question. Yeah, we got one thing in there about lifting. Yeah. <laughs> And then the rest was mostly about hollow earth. So all you have to do now when you post it, just say sumo or conventional. <laughs> That's all we covered. And they have to wait <laughs> until the end. Yeah, yeah it's, it's called bait and switch. <laughs> I like it. It's like a Craigslist date. Well, before we lose all of our, our last couple listeners, what is your? where do they find you again on the Instagram? You can find me uh, on the Instagram at I hate Matt Vincent. Remember how to spell it. Yep. And then uh, the hate.com for website stuff. The Buy hate. Buy some of my wares, yeah. The hate. And are there the YouTubes? Yeah, I'm on the YouTubes, uh, Matthew Vincent. Okay. That's easier. Yeah, that one's easier. You know, it's super cool, not right? Roman it's, numerals. Well, yeah, what's cool is you have this really uncommon name, like Matt Vincent. <laughs> and so, guess what? You don't get to pick a good name for anything, they're all taken. That's true. So that's why like Twitter is a different name than Instagram, and <laughs> that's a different name than my YouTube. I don't YouTube. think anyone tweeters anymore. What? <laughs> People twat all the time. <laughs> that's the past tense. <laughs> You've been waiting an hour and a half to get that in. Have we been talking for an hour and a half? Oh, probably longer. Huh. Boom. What? Time flies. So you know where to find him, if you're still listening. Yeah, and if not, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Figure your care. life out. <laughs> Matt's drink is empty, so we're gonna have to sign off. Yeah. But thanks for listening to the No Pants Side Pony experience with guest co host Matthew the Hate Vincent. That's it. That's it. We're done here. Good night. Good night. Oh, yeah, there's. Boo. <laughs> what happened? <laughs>